Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Marcy Beskar and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Happy Wednesday. As Deborah says, happy, happy hump day. Um, I can't believe the year is flying. I'm just already just crazy busy and I'm sure you guys are too. And um, I'm looking and it's already going to be this weekend. Um, tomorrow my daughter and uh, granddaughter and son-in-law come. Yay! Um, we almost were thinking that she wasn't going to be able to come because she had a fever on Monday. Um, tested twice for COVID and it was negative. So we're good with that. And um, so anyway, uh, they're still coming and everything and she's feeling fine. She had a little fever, but she's fine now and can't wait to get here. So welcome. Hi, Deborah, Crystal, Stephanie, Melanie, Dawn, Mama Al. Welcome, Crystal. Oh, I mentioned Melanie and Mary. Hello, everybody. So um, first things first, I want to make a big announcement is we will not be doing bingo in December. I've heard from a few people and everybody's really busy and I totally understand. So let's not stress about it. Let's not um, worry about it. And I'm going to take the month off from bingo, which means I can... Um, get my room cleaned up and it's almost there. I've got a few things I need to get out like my customer um, Christmas cards and family cards and things like that and get some uh, clean up a little bit in here and I'm hoping this weekend that my daughter and I are going to do a tour of my craft room. Will it be spotless and clean like a lot of people do in their craft rooms? No, because mine will never look like that. Um, so it will be my lived-in craft room, but I'm able to walk around. So um, I'm going to try and get that done this weekend. She leaves on Monday. No, Sunday. So I'm thinking next Wednesday that will be my video. So I will probably post that, and then I'll probably come on live after, and we'll just do a question-answer thing for you. So let me know if you have questions when you watch it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll post it earlier in the day. Um, that's my hope and it's going to be just, we're going to record it and there's no editing, so it's going to be funny. Um, so we'll do that and then I'll answer questions on Wednesday. So let's plan that. Oh, you are welcome, Melanie. Oh, Debbie. Debbie, I didn't see. Let's see. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you got it. Oh, Melanie, yes. I have just, I have my catalog right here where I'm able to order tonight. And when I say tonight, I mean 11 o'clock my time. I stay up late. I'm a night owl. I will order it. I will also um, overnight it. So I'll have it on Friday. Um, and then I'll have family all weekend. So I probably won't get to craft. I'm hoping to get something on Sunday, but I, I don't know, because everybody's still going to be here. I know, Debbie, it's a good catalog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do something sometime this weekend. If not, it'll probably be Monday, but I want to do something with something new. So um, December, I'm going to show you new stuff. I've already done a whole lot of Christmas. Hopefully your Christmas cards are already on their way to being done. I'm hoping to get my mailed out by Friday. We'll see. And um, so I want to show you what's coming up and some ideas and thoughts. So as soon as I get um, all my goodies, um, I will do a little another reveal for that too. So finding time to do it, but uh, I will figure that out this weekend. Um, I hate to make you wait. I know you can look other places, but I like doing it because that's when I really get to look at stuff too. I know, Melanie, if you sign up and become a demonstrator, then you can also purchase early if you're not already one. So, what else? Um, January bingo is going to be, so of course, backing up, December will be canceled. I emailed those that are already registered and offered I can either move you over to January's bingo or I can refund your money. Just let me know what your choices are, okay? The next thing is January's bingo will be all the new product. So it's going to be new product is what I'm gonna be using. And right now, the, the, top, the three that I will be using for bingo, as long as they're orderable, which I think they are, 
will be Fancy Flora, the, um, it's the two-toned floral stamp set. I'm going to use the Country Floral Lane, which is a Valentine kind of set, so I want to use that. And it has a punch. I'm so excited about it. And Rain and Shine is like top of my list. You guys, if you don't have Rain and Shine, make sure you get that because I will be using it a lot. Um, and the fourth one, I don't know. It's going to be a surprise because I was looking through my catalog and then I realized it was time to jump online. So I was like, well, fourth one's a surprise then because I haven't figured it out yet. I have an idea, but sometimes it's hard to come up with something because it's a lot of stamping and die cutting. You really can't die cut ahead of time. So I feel like you're not getting enough in your kit if I've just given you paper to stamp on and die cut. Um, so I'm going to try and see what I can do with that to make it worthy. But, um, I know you understand it's kind of hard to, it's like the Scotty dog. It's hard to punch out the dog. If you don't have the stamp set, that does you no good at all. Um, uh, and I kind of like it to where you can change it up if you don't have something that you should stamp ahead. Anyway, kind of an idea. Oh, I know, Deborah. It's easier to just go through and mark what you don't want. And then I look at the dies, and then I'm like, yeah, I want it. So pretty much everything's on my list. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Um, the thistle set. There's a thistle set. I don't know how to see if there's dies with that. I don't think there's dies. I don't remember. I'm not a thistle person. But, oh, here it is. Let's see. Oh, there's dies. But, yeah. I'm not going to get that. So anyway, everything else is a yes. Um, even the motorcycle set, like I mentioned before, there's stuff in there that you can use for other stuff. So um, I know girls, mm, 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 I'm ordering tonight. I'm telling you, I'm so excited about it. I told my husband, do not let me forget. I just got my kids all checked in for their airline and everything is good. And my daughter's still at work. So I did that and I don't want to forget to order. They look small. The thistles, Deborah. Hi, Cheryl. Friendswood, Texas. I have never heard of Friendswood. Welcome. Oh, okay. Oh, Scottish girls love the thistle. Hmm. Is it a good luck thing? I, I, to me, it, just things of an ugly sticker. <laughs> I was raised in the country, so a lot of times you're like, you call everything a sticker is a thistle. So, oh, they look small. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at it again. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to announce. I'm kind of thinking, oh, I have a new host code. Woohoo. December's host code is ready to go. It is on my blog, it is on my Facebook page. I don't think I pinned it on my Facebook page, but I will. So that's already up and ready to go. So um, also don't forget, I, if you want a gift certificate, if you are thinking, you know, I would really like to have a gift certificate um, to buy some goodies from Marcy's shop, share my email with your loved ones let them know that, you know, that's what I would like and um, have them contact me and I will create a gift certificate for you. And um, hopefully you can find that under your tree or in your stocking and um, do a little shopping. So that's always fun after the fact. Uh, oh, why is that uh, too? I am not wise on thistles. Oh, okay. I'm Scott. I'm not Scottish. I thought they were an ugly sticker plant. So sorry about that, Scottish people. Okay, so today what I did is I have this Santa Express paper and I didn't use this stamp set because it, I wasn't, it just wasn't calling to me. I bought it, but it just wasn't one that I wanted to do. So there were so many other gorgeous things. I just never got to this, is, to be honest. Love the paper. I just... There were so many pretty papers in here that I did use some, but like, look at those pretty packages. I mean, can you imagine doing the Scotty dog in this fabric, you know, that match it? Anyway, there's lots of things you can do with it, but I just didn't use a lot of it. 
So I wanted to use the paper. And then if you guys remember when I did the moose card, so when I did uh, this card, I'm getting a crazy glare. There we go. I have this big light on over there, which I normally don't. But anyway, so when I did this card, I showed you guys that I used my scan and cut. And I cut out all of the, the little critters in that set. So I have like the raccoon and I have the little bird and the little bunny in here. And so I thought, well, I already have all these cut out. So I wanted to use more of those also. So I was trying to think, okay, what else, you know, I want to use these up. And so I was trying to put things together because if you saw my bucket, let me show you my bucket. I have several buckets, but this is, I kind of tried to condense. But these buckets here just have bits and pieces. Like here I have banners. I have snowflakes. I have a ton of gold stuff. And I have tons of leaves when I did those bird cards. I did those. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. Um, a ton of, you know, different sentiments already. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff. So these kept saying, you know, you got to do something with these. You took the time to get the machine out and do all that cutting. So let's use it up. So that's what, when I saw this card, I was like, that is exactly what I wanted. So this is the cute card I saw. And it's from Amanda Waldhart is who I saw. Now I did some changing to it, so I'll show you what I did differently. But I just thought, oh my gosh, look at that. She's using the paper and the raccoon. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm coming a little late from. Hi Debbie, welcome. Um, so when I saw the raccoon and the paper, I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I wanna do. So I created a bunch of these and um, uh, my husband's work has, you know, a card holder, I told you, and, um, and I'm sorry, I'm getting a text message from somebody. I ordered something and she just keeps sending me messages to show me it's a finished product. So she's just going to have to wait. Um, oh yeah, Deborah. Mm, I, and I have die cuts too that I put with a stamp set still, and I still have a bunch anyway. Um, so I thought this was perfect and I wanted to do it. So my husband's work has a stack of these cards made. So I'm going to show you what I used and then what I did different than Amanda. Um, I just thought this was so cute. I think I saw it on the demonstrator website. I think she put it on there. Um, so if you're not a demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team and you can go and also be on this website where you see demonstrators just flood different projects, ideas, they ask questions, all that good stuff. Um, okay, just wanna make sure I'm not missing any messages. So let's just get started. I did a little bit of work because we're gonna be doing some coloring. So I have my envelope here just to kind of hold it all together. And we're using Bermuda Bay for the base and we're using Poppy Parade. So of course, when you are trying to come up with your colors, always look at the back of your paper. And so when I put my paper into my little plastic sleeves, I always take the back sheet and I put in my um, colors so I can see what the colors are, see what the number is, see what the name is, even though I try to put the name up here so I know what I'm looking for. Um, so this is Poppy Parade. So we are not going to put this together right away because we're gonna do a few things for the inside. So we'll just set that aside for right now. All right, and we're going to come over here and talk about the top panel. So the first thing that I did differently is I stamped the top. So we're going to use the all bundled up and these cute little snowflakes right here. Oh, hi, Julie. I'm glad you caught me live. Fantastic. Welcome. So we're going to use our snowflakes. And... This is how prepared I was today as I, uh, we had to go get the motor home to bring it over when my husband got off work because that's where uh, my daughter, well, any of our company that comes, we just bring the motor home over. It's not far from here. 
but we bring it over so they can sleep in it because our guest room, guess where that's at? It's the second half of my craft room and I don't need anybody sleeping in my craft room. So it is no longer a guest room. All right, so we're just gonna do it around the edges. So we can see our little snowflake and it's just adding a little bit more. She did not, she just had the poppy parade. And so I'm gonna continue telling you the different things. Oh, you know what? You know that I like to put something underneath here so I can try to keep my paper clean. I'm expecting my new, Oh, well, that's so funny. Oh yeah, it looks really light when it's down like this, but when I hold it up, it's a lot darker. Um, I'm expecting my new grid sheets any day. I think they're coming Saturday, it says. Okay, so you just wanna make sure, and if you didn't get enough towards the edge, because remember your papers are gonna be, just take that one snowflake, just kinda keep going around, fill up any holes, because you know, you're not gonna see it once all that paper's on there, you, you wanna make sure you get it all around close to the edge. All right, so that's good. I'm good with that. So we'll set that aside. Yeah, my husband finally, when he finally caved and said, yeah, we should just extend the room and get rid of the spare room. We don't have company that much. And if we do, it's for, you know, a night or two. And so I was like, yay. Okay, so we can put this aside. And now this is pe uh, Petal Pink, another color that's in. What we did is we took the, um, the Ho 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 paper, and this is the other side. It's two and a half by three and three quarters is what this is. And it's just going to go right inside. I love when you find some DSP and you color coordinate. And that's what I love about stamping up. It's so easy. Look at the back of your paper and say, okay, what is the red? And go look. Is it real red? Is it Poppy Parade? What is it? Cherry Cobbler. And this is Poppy Parade. The green is like a mint macaron. You can just go look. That's probably what it is. I didn't look, but um, that is, yep, mint macaron. Because it's not Bermuda Bay, this is Bermuda Bay, but you can look at the different colors and kind of get an idea. And you're like, well, it's not shaded spruce. It's not, you know, so you can kind of look and see because the other colors could be in a different paper. But this one right here, you can tell Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, um, you've got the, um, this is shaded spruce right here. It's so tiny, you can barely see it, but it's not on here. You can't see it on here. So it just depends on where the paper's at. So figure that out, what you want to do. The other thing she did is she put a white circle, but she didn't emboss it. So I decided to emboss it and I used the uh, Wintry 3D and I put a two there because there's two small ones, one and two. And so I put um, number two so that you can kind of see what it is. Oops, got my bunny. And then I wanted to get this big snowflake and these snowflakes. So I put the circle up here. So when you put it in, kind of like there's a lot of wind, like, you know, those little whimsy, whimsical wind. I didn't want that so much. I really wanted some snowflakes. So I pushed it up, up like this and I got more of the snow snowflakes here because we're going to cover a lot of it up so I, I wanted to make sure the snowflakes showed so that's what i did there and looking at hers i didn't see that this was embossed it didn't look like it um so i decided that i wanted to do that because i just like adding a lot of you know more interest and texture and everything so that's what i decided to do um, so let's go ahead and we can put this and make sure it's right side up because otherwise it says oh and it's not so Christmassy, right? You gotta have your ho on there. Ho ho ho. Alright, again, that's two and a half and three and three quarters. I'm telling you again because I'm about to glue it down. I didn't write it anywhere else. Two and a half, three and three quarters. Now, another thing she did is I would normally cut it to the edge, to the perforation so that you could see the scalp around the outside, but you know, you would cover this whole part up. But I liked that she showed 
more of the pale pink and so she brought in the the image so i really liked that i would have never thought of it so see you always learn something just keep watching what people are you know posting and look at everything and you just get ideas from everybody there's always a, something to learn all right so we're going to do this let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this on here so we're going to pop it up so let me grab some dimensionals well i'm glad you guys have been looking at your list i am going to be doing that right after this to be all prepared my husband always laughs at me because I'll go in the front room, we'll sit down and watch our TV, and I will sit there and make my list and write it over and over. Because you got to be careful that you don't order <laughs> multiples of things. Um, okay, so there's our hoe. Now right here you're okay, which is why I don't adhere it to the card quite yet. Because if... I did put this upside down I can still just turn it around so I try not to put this on until it's just about done um, unless there's a reason if there's really like if this was on here I could probably just put it on and not worry about it but I like to wait and the one thing I did forget is because I've already started stamping is on the inside this is what we did so let's go ahead and do our snowflakes that I just forgot to do so I just wanted to add some what happened is I did the bunny and I wanted to add them in the front and I wanted room for this and so I had the bunny over or the raccoon over here and the bunny over here but then this was up and I just didn't like the way it looked so I decided to put him on the inside which is what Amanda did and uh, or no I don't know what she did on the inside but she did this without the money on the on the front. And I, I like the snowflakes, you know, things going off the edges. So it doesn't look like, you know, it just looks more natural that way. So I like it like that. Now, the Merry Christmas, you're going to notice, is not in this bundle, the one that I did on the inside. I wanted something kind of cutesy and bold, but I didn't want... Um, this little writing I just wanted something a little more bold and so I chose the Merry Christmas from the Christmas Scotty so this one's nice and bold and so we're gonna take this one out right here see what I mean I still have some Scotty dogs in here ready to go we have schnauzers. I, I don't anymore, but we did. And my son has schnauzers. So I wish it would have been a schnauzer instead of a Scotty dog, but you know, can't get everything you want. I'm still getting over my cold too, by the way. It's kind of a bummer. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? All right. I'm trying to grab my, let's do this. I want a nice bold stamp so I want to make sure that we're going to just use our Stamparatus just to make sure it's nice and bold. And I want this to go right about there. Okay, that looks... Now what I do is I put it in and then I kind of hold it up. And just make sure that it looks straight and if you look closely you can see your lines and make sure it's straight um, oh except I just moved it let's clean this off a little bit I've had a lot of embossing powder going on so make sure it's clean so I wipe the stamp off too just to make sure um, I like the colors too. That gives it a rush of feel. Yes, it does, Julie. I agree. All right, here we go. All right, so we want black. Now, normally I would just stamp the bunny in there, but because I my thought was to put them on the front, 
um, he's glued in, which is fine too, because you definitely don't want to stamp your bunny in there if your inside piece is done already, because if you goof it up, then you've goofed up your whole card. So um, if you're going to do any stamping, make sure you do everything and have everything ready to go, then glue it on your panel, then glue it in your card. That way you know what you're gluing is done and in good shape. All right. I'm going to put my image back in here because you know what happens if I don't. Okay, so we did that. Our Merry Christmas is on there. Our snowflakes are on there. So I am okay to close this up. Now, you could have, and now that I'm looking at this, I probably should have used... Bermuda Bay or Pool Party, you know, a lighter version of the Bermuda Bay and did the snowflakes in that because we are putting this on top of Poppy Parade and it would have just tied in that color a little bit, but I'm okay with it like this. If you, if you think, oh, it's more realistic if they're a bluishy green color, well, I think it's okay being that we have a dressed bunny in the card and a raccoon wearing a hat and a scarf. So I think we're okay with our Poppy Parade snowflake. So that's what we're going to go with. But had I thought about it, looking at it now, I would have changed it. But that's okay. It's beautiful like it is. And I don't know. I didn't see Amanda if she did the inside. I don't, oh, I don't think so. Okay, so you guys know how much of this I go through, right? which I was so quick, I just got the last edge on there. So we'll just dump this. And so this is why I try to start having this next to me because I go through so much that it's easier that I just have one ready to go. Okay. So let's put our inside. Yeah, so now once you start doing the top and wanting to put that on there, you're going to definitely want to make sure that you put it the right way because you don't want to do it like this and then your card be upside down. So think about that. All right. So now we're going to come back here. I already did this. I embossed it and um, did it in white. I wanted it in white and I just think it looks really cool in white. So because I have two dimensionals, I want to make sure the tail can stick off, but you want your two dimensionals here because if you were going to have one down here, you know, even closer to the edge and one up here, then your, your um, image is going to go up like that. Okay. So you want to make sure that you you know, pull it, that they're both up on top. So we'll do that last. But your circle, when you put your raccoon on, see how it's going to have a snowflake here, one up here, and a little bit over there. So you can see a lot of the snowflake. And so when you put that on, you want to put a dimensional over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one and you're just going to put your circle kind of where you want it where you think it's going to go. And I'm just going to put a dimensional right there so that we know that this is where it's going to go. Okay, and then this is where your raccoon guy is going to go, about there. So what we're going to do is peel this off. I'm going to grab my glue. Yeah, this container, you guys, I think they're stackable, um, and they're from Amazon. I bought them a long time ago, but they're, and then, like, they have little ones, like this is some adhesive foam that I cut out for another, another project, and so it was a fr the middle of a frame, so I kept these, and so I just put them in, in there, so they're just stackable little containers on Amazon. 
Okay, so this is going to go like this. So I'm going to put glue all on this side. And you want to put glue because it's embossed, right? All right, so I have glue everywhere except over here where your dimensional is going to go. We already picked that up. And it's going to go right about there. Okay, and I'm just realizing that I used the regular circles and I should have used this one. This one's the stitched one and it is in, let me tell you because I grabbed the wrong one, Stylish Shapes. So Stylish Shapes is what I used originally. But today I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to get this ready to go so that you guys don't have to watch me emboss. Um, and I forgot to use the right one. So this one right here for stylish shapes. I use, it's the same size because I measured them. Um, this, the largest one in your layered circles is the one I used on here. So keep that in mind. I should have done this one because I like the stitching, but that's okay. A lot of stuff's covering it up, but you can still see that pretty stitching around there. And I just really like the stitching. So, okay, so that's good. And so now we can go ahead and put this on because we know where it's going to go. And so I want it right about here. I'm going to lightly lay it. Let's get our little raccoon guy. Yeah, and that's good. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit because it looks like the tail is hanging off over here and the the embossing or the dimensional is right here, so they're both still staying on, so that's fine. So now we're going to do some coloring. So let me Now I just, oh, here it is. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to use a clean sheet here. All right. So we're going to do our two, and we're going to do, they're little pieces, and so we can just do it kind of quickly. It doesn't have to be super fancy. I'll show you the colors I'm going to use. So first, let's use Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to use the dark. And I'm going to do his hat. I'm just going to go on the inside and I just kind of squiggle a little above his hair. Okay. And I leave the rest of it light. And then here I just do some little swishes and I do just a couple little things on the top of his hat. That's it for him. And then we'll go to the light. Oh, and you know what? I think I used. Let me see. The light mint macaron. I didn't use the light Bermuda. I used the light mint macaron and just kind of blend it in. Okay, so just blend that in a little bit. And so then there's his hat. Let's see. There we go. Might be a little easier. And then we're going to do the same for the bunny. While we're right here, we're going to take the, oh, I think I used, let's do the light Bermuda Bay. And I just went around the outside, all of his scarf, and super simple coloring, nothing fancy. I didn't really do like a lot of shading or anything like that. I just went around the outside of the whole scarf. Okay. And then take your um, light mint macaron and we're just going to color that in. And remember, these colors lighten up after you color. Remember, I, I like to go to the end and then kind of blend it in upward because you don't want it to blend outward. 
at the end, just go upward. Ooh, this one's really wet. Okay, and what's nice is you can layer them. See how I went up again and made it just a little bit darker? So it kind of blended a little bit better with the Bermuda. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna bring in Poppy Parade. Light and dark, we're gonna do the same thing. So for his little sweater, I'm again gonna go around all the outside edges. And this is just like an easier way to kind of give it a little more color, a little dimension, but you're not doing all kinds of shading and stuff. And then I'm going to do this little triangle all dark because it's kind of under his scarf and everything right there. So we'll do that. And then take the light and just blend it in. I like to do circles too when it's so little because you can grab the outside color and kind of bring it in and lighten it up a little bit and look a little more blended. All right, so there's that one. Um, one of the colors I forgot is I got the... You want to get the um, 1000, the skin tone. And I use this for anything that's pink or flesh color. So I'm going to do this on the inside of his ears. And I put a little nose right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're still going to color them brown. And then I took the petal pink and I just did like he had little gloves on to just kind of blend them with more colors of the paper. So I just added like he's got little gloves. Okay, so there's that. For the red over here, we're going to do the scarf and we're going to do stripes. And we're going to use the dark petal pink. I used the light for the gloves, but you know what? I think I'm going to do them dark because they're hard to see. The light is very light. All right. So for this, we use the red first because it just kind of gives you a definite or the poppy parade. I did dark. And all I did is start on the edge and just go straight down and make a line. And then I did straight at the top, make a line and then color it in. And then over here I did a line and I colored it in. So don't, you know, scribble, make sure you do like just a line here and a line here. See how close together they are? But it really does make a thicker line once you're done with that. So just do it kind of really little. And then we're gonna do one more on the edge. that's good and then same thing here so go right here above his fingers and then I just kind of did in the middle of his fingers so we can color that in and it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to do little stripes All right, so there is that. And I could have done more stripes, but it's just whatever you want. And then you want to be careful. You don't really want this to, to blend. You want to just fill in your spots. And she added stripes. I thought that was adorable. I tried doing polka dots once. That didn't work out so well. Doing the polka dots was a little harder. So I stuck with stripes. And I try to kind of go around the outside just to draw those lines and then color the inside. Now, I did get his finger with a little tiny, I mean, like you can even see it, but a tiny piece of red, but you're going to color it and it'll be fine. All right, so let's start with this guy. We don't need these. We need our smoky slate. And I'm going to do the dark first. And I use the bullet tip for everything. It's just easier. And then I'm going to do the eyes. So I just barely go around 
the eyes first because you want to not get into the eyes and then do the outside and then color in. So again, go around up here and on the eye. Okay, and I just did some dark marks inside his ears. And then I did the tail. Okay, and then I did do, I did do just some shading. Just a little bit, you don't really have to do this, but I just did a little bit under his arm. his foot and then I did the little V up here too I did not color the V in but I did darken his little line right there and now you're going to take the light and you're just going to color it in I don't go all the way over his nose. It's got that little white mark and you want to leave that little white mark there so it looks, you know, like a shine on his nose. Remember that your alcohol marker can bleed. So when you get to the tip, I always come from the outside in when I go up like these fingers, you want to grab them and come inward. Get your color on there, but then leave it alone and move on because you, it'll lead outward and you don't want that. Don't forget this right here is his body. Look how cute he is. And then these colors lighten up too, so. All right. Like I said, around the edges, I try to go around the outside close so that now that when I do this part, I don't have to go so close because it already has, you know, that gray line right there. And like this, and then I'll just fill it in. All right, and turn your little guy. You don't have to be turning your hand all crazy. And just fill them in so just a little bit of detail on you know do one section at a time think about what you want to do I, I never said I was a perfect color I just kind of learn as I go to what works and you know like choosing your colors that go with your DSP is just what's so great about stamping up is they give you all those tools and you just have to look them up. Okay, so there's our little raccoon. Hi, Julie, how are you? Now we're gonna switch. We don't want gray, we want crumb cake now. So you're gonna basically, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your dark. Now we're gonna look at our inside little guy. And so all I did is I did do some brown a little shading underneath right here because he's got a little jacket on I did a little here on his feet and then like on his chin a little bit and you could do like a little on his ears it's whatever you want okay so I just add a little bit of color and then come back in with the light Remember, you have your pink there. You don't want to forget to do that first. And again, that's on the skin color tones and the number um, 1,000. It works perfect for a skin tone. Okay, and then here, I'm just going to go a little bit more because I put a little bit of dark right there. So it'll blend. 
And then I'm going to just kind of go around his nose and his eyes a little bit. Under his eyes. And then I'm going to do a little bit here under his chin because I put a little dark right there too. I'm going to blend it a little bit. Okay. And now his little body. And I like to do circular motions right here because it's keeps it kind of staying in the area that you want it. You don't want it to go up into the red, into the poppy parade. And make sure we got his tail. All right, so there's our little characters all colored. That was easy. I am good and retired today, so lots of things going on. You retired today, Jewelry? Yay, congratulations. I see a lot of stamping in your future. All right, so now here is our card. We're gonna put our little guy down. We're gonna pop him up. So we're just gonna put one on his head, one on his front, and one on kind of in the middle of his tail and his tush there. And then we've got our little bunny. Oh, and we glued him down because he's on the inside. So at this point, I'm good with, um, let's glue this down. And you don't want to pop up too many layers. Like, um, I'll put one here in the middle because there's a lot in the middle there. But if you popped up the red and this and this and him, and you're going to have a big, huge, thick card. And um, I learned that again today as I was putting my Christmas cards in my envelopes. They're pretty thick, but you know, sometimes you just have to do it. It's just, that's the way it is, but you don't have to. Want to do more stamping and moving. Good for you. Good for you. I have to say when I retired I am busier now than I've ever been it's crazy I'm like how is how would I have done all of this if I was working there's I mean not just this not just crafting but other stuff I'm just and I think that's why my husband's like I think you need to retire how are you going to go see the grandkids and us take vacation and do what we want then of course COVID happens and you know Okay, so I want to put his little foot down towards the end because I did not put a little gray shadow or anything below him. If you want him up a little farther, you could put a little gray shadow there, but I chose not to. I just put him down because you, you're going to need some... Oh, look, I'm going off screen. Sorry. You're going to need some um, room for writing. So, All right, so there is our little bunny and there is our little raccoon. And then I was like, okay, I want to add some... So I added some of these solid faceted gems here. So I did one big one and they're shinier than you think. In the package, they don't look shiny, but they really are. I really like these. And then I put one up here and there we go. There is our card. So the difference on hers, like I said, I didn't notice that she had embossed the background and I wanted to add more texture. And then um, I added the snowflakes there in the background. And then I don't know which embellishments she used. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But then on the inside, I decided, like I said, I was going to put him in the front. But it, he just didn't fit very well with the circle. And I really liked the circle offsetting and everything. So I chose to just move him over and put that up just like she did. And... Um, I went ahead and put the little bunny on the inside and then added my snowflakes. And like I said, I would have, 
either the mint macaron or the or maybe uh, the second generation stamping of Bermuda Bay would have been really cute to do the snowflakes in that color. But I think this is, I mean, we have a lot of that color right here. But anyway, so there we go. That is the card for today. What set? Okay, so this was from all bundled up. And don't forget, things are going to be going on sale. The last chance things are coming up. You're going to have, um, you know, you're going to fi be finding out the carryovers and, and what is... Um, um, what what's carrying over and what's um, not and so things are going to be leaving and so please please make sure you start checking um, and seeing if there's anything that you want and of course I would love to have you as a customer if you uh, need somebody to shop with uh, Merry Christmas came from here the Scotty set I like this bold kind of a whimsical fun um, font so I decided to use that one but I like you're the coolest my two grandkids are going to get these cards um, because they're the coolest and it's just going to be a lot of fun I think they'll love that so there we go those, those are the cards so thank you so much for joining me just to recap again really quickly December's bingo is canceled um, a lot of people have a lot of stuff going on, and so I decided, you know what, I agree, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and postpone that, but in January, our bingo will, and I don't have a sign up for January yet, if you sign up for um, December, it's going to be transferred to January, so I'm going to take care of that tonight and get that all fixed up, well, probably by the end of tomorrow, and get that all fixed up so that your registration will be for um, January and it'll be all new product and of course I have a new host code so don't forget that um, it's also available on my blog on the right hand side if you just highlight it and copy it and then click on the shop here it'll take you right into my stamping up shop and you'll have the code right there for you if you go to my Facebook page, there's a link and it already has the code, um, should already have the code, I guess I need to double check, um, included in that. Oh, you guys are welcome. I'm glad you liked it. Um, and then Sally for the circle, I like I said, I accidentally used the, and they're the same size, but the layering circle, the largest regular circle, but I would recommend the stylish shapes. And these are the stitched circles. It just adds that just a little bit more on there to that. Thanks, Olivia. Thanks, Deborah. All right. So um, with that being said, I'm going to let you know that there's some great specials coming up. And so keep an eye out for um, announcements for things coming up with Stamping Up. There's some really exciting things coming. Um, in addition to our beautiful new catalog and celebration that I'm going to go and continue making my list, I do have my paper and pencil right here. If you are a customer of mine and you have purchased within the last six months, I will be sending you a catalog. So you will get a catalog and a celebration. I am going to order them and when I get them, I will ship them to you. So you can always go to my blog and request a catalog um, if you uh, don't have a demonstrator. Oh, the embossing folder is the wintry. It's called wintry. One is pine needles and then the snowflakes, I think, is the other one. So you want to make sure that you, um, there's, there's two in a pack. And these are great. So if these are leaving, make sure you grab them. They're really, really good. Um, so I used those. Um, Deborah. Mine are six by seven. My magnet sheets, and I have a link um, below for stamp and storage, and it's also on my blog. Um, I'm an affiliate with them. These are six by seven. And you'll notice, like on the circles, I have two sets because I use them a lot. And so I just put another magnet sheet in the same pouch. And the pouches, of course, are for six by seven. So um, these are the size I like the best. The five, five by seven are like shorter and 
we have a lot of dies in our die set, so um, the bigger ones are better. And then same with contour. I use these a lot too. Anything that's got um, layers or or nested dies, I like to to get too because I use them a lot. Where did you get the container to hold all those stampin' sticky things? Stampin' sticky. Are you talking about my, these right here? Um, the my tape runners, yeah. Um, this is from Stampin' Storage. I'll try and find the link. It's been a little while. Um, but the, there's no name on it. It's just look for small containers and there's different sizes like these all like if I didn't have these in here, like these fit, they are stackable. So you could get a whole stack of these that stack up to put your little bits in like this already has some stuff in it, but to put your bits in. And so they all stack. Um, so look for a stack, small stacking containers. I'll try and find it. If I can find it, I will link it below um, in the video. So this blog post will be uh, probably tomorrow night. I'll try to get it up and going tomorrow. I am going to have a paper share. I hope you guys will uh, participate in that. I'm going to have a sign up this week for the paper share. It's going to be approximately $65. I still have to get in and figure out all the details. Uh, and when I say details, there's a host set. So it depends on how many people sign up. So because then you get the host paper for free, but how much of it is there? How many people are signing up? So it's always a, you know, you want to add it. So a lot of times I add it as a gift um, because I can split the package up further than a quarter of the pack. And so I don't want you to pay for an eighth of a pack. And anyway, it's just kind of a, what do you do with that? And then you've got um, celebration paper. And a lot of people don't add celebration paper in because you're going to get plenty of it when you order your stuff. Um, so I'm kind of decide, trying to figure out what details I want to do with that. Um, let's see, are there any other questions? Oh, Sally, you do. It's such a cute card. So let me show it to you again. So in case you need a picture. So there is the front. And then I did the little snowflakes on the uh, Poppy Parade. It's Poppy Parade, Petal Pink. All the all of the colors and stuff are listed. And then um, on the inside, I just did that. Now, I would change those snowflakes to like mint macaron or something. It would be really cute. And then again, the person... I case, I'm casing this from is Amanda Waldhart. Oh, I didn't write it very neat because I wasn't going to show you guys, but um, Amanda Waldhart. Um, and I mentioned it at the beginning if you need her name. All right, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your week. I have family coming. I will not be on on Sunday. I'm planning to record my video of my room and um, hopefully have that up next week. And then on Wednesday, I will do like a question answer thing about the room video and maybe have um, a quick little card because I'm getting my new product in. I just have to get time to play with it. All right. See you soon. Bye, everybody.